Hey there, Kristen here to show you our newest feature, the environmental data module. As a former community engagement coordinator, I know how tough it can be to quantify and measure equity. With every project, there are questions like, who would be most affected by this? How can we maximize their participation? How do we know if we've reached them? How do we know that we have their input? Our environmental data module helps you answer those questions by bringing demographic information right to your public input dashboard. Specifically, this module overlays mapping layers from the EPA's EJ screen tool on your participant maps and public input to highlight both EJ or environmental justice communities, as well as communities that have been historically disenfranchised. Used in advance of a project, the environmental data module can help you identify areas where you may need language specific outreach or where you can anticipate community needs like childcare or interpretation services. During and after a project, the environmental data module can provide a sense of who you've reached and who you've missed in your engagement efforts. The environmental data module helps to set you up for success by providing a census tract level analysis of your community so you can create and deliver customized, meaningful engagement opportunities. Let's see how it works. So while there are a lot of different ways to use the environmental data module, I'm gonna walk through a pretty straightforward example of how to see whether or not our participants for a particular project come from environmental justice communities. So I've opened the participant map for a project and you can see all these little blue icons are individual participants. So let's see if any of these participants fall into um, those EJ communities. To see that data, I'm going to click on this little layer icon over here. Then I'm going to click on the EJ screen layers tab. And then I'll have my options here uh, for what layers I can use. Let's say first I want to see if any of our participants come from communities in the 95th percentile for limited English proficiency. I'm gonna check that box there, hit apply, and now you're gonna see this map layer in yellow. And that tells me that those communities are in the 95th percentile for limited English proficiency. And notice there's not a lot of overlap when it comes to, I'm gonna zoom on in here, when it comes to participants that can help inform our engagement, right? So let's say I'm also curious if these participants come from uh, the low income communities at the 95th percentile. So uh, the most vulnerable in terms of uh, having high poverty rates. So I'm also gonna click that and hit apply. And now what you're gonna see Zoom in a little bit here so you can see it more clear. You're going to see these green layers that indicate low income as well as the yellow with limited English proficiency and where those overlap. And if you look at the participants throughout the state, just doing a lot of exploration here, we're not seeing participants in those communities, which again is really insightful for our engagement strategizing. So if you think that this is something that you can use for your projects, let us know so we can get those layers onto your dashboard so you can start doing your own analysis. Thank you so much for joining me for this demo today. If you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. 